Alright, here's some diary entries I forgot to read. The energy crystal is guarded by the Slime Queen. Though powerful, with Gaia's help we beat her. I let her live in exchange for the energy core and a vow of loyalty to me. I can now summon slimes. What? Was that four? Wait, where was five? When I saw passed through that holy barrier, I thought I saw what was my mother. I thought what I saw was my mother. Instead, I discovered she was an embodiment of my former innocence. She challenged me, but when I refused to fight back, she smiled and told me I passed her test. I feel like I'm one step closer to regaining my old self. Wait, I was expected to do that after entry number five? Shoot. Also, what does the side quest, the current side quest say? Another barrier was found on the second floor. Lowering your corruption to 64 should uh, get me through it. But there's no way I can do that right now. I'll probably have to replace that side quest. Okay, ask about herself. What brings you to the moral realm? You seem to have no interest in sex. I'm here because Milena told me to aid you where I could. Who is this Milena anyway? You never heard of her before? She's the queen of the five hells for a reason. Sorry, I never heard her name before. In her teachings, she's simply called Malice. She's the demoness who turned me into what I am. You could say she saved me. I see. So she's a good person. I wonder if we can be friends. Food for thought. Perhaps we can be. That is if she doesn't get too close to my beloved angel. Okay, forgot to check the uh, shelves here. One of them had the one the right. Uh, the se uh, um, the, sec the second to the right had dried herbs. This one had forgotten tower. Hmm. So what is this? A book written about the area tower, mostly forgotten by the rest of the world. Both the book and the tower. For hundreds of years. Kulia Forest has been known for its atmosphere of serenity, its calm lakes and evergreen trees, along with its fertile soil perfect for archi uh, archicultural means. Agricultural means or... Um, may, guess both. Something Leticia as a whole is sorely lacking at this date. Most people avoid the forest out of fear for the bandits, wolves, and slimes residing in the area, meaning that only a few farmers are brave or stubborn enough to utilize the rich ground to grow their crops. Only a few people even know of the existence of the Kulia Temple, a place fabled to be the hideout of a, Dru a druidic cult. Fewer people even know of the existence of the Tower of Area, erected over the course of seven years in honor of the Archangel of Justice, Area Avandana. The tower which, despite the time it took to build and the devotion of the people involved in, the task has been all but forgotten. It's only normal that this once majestic structure was unofficially renamed to the Forgotten Tower by the few who do remember it. It was meant as a place of prayer to cleanse the surrounding lands and to imprison those who threaten the light. The tower itself spirals high into the sky, each level bringing you closer to the heavens, each floor having its own tests and obstacles to prove your loyalty to the light. But following the events of the of modernization of Ostberg, the tower fell into disuse and disrepair, as all the of the religious practices were relocated towards the capital. After all, Kulia Forest had become way too dangerous. Of course, some people say that despite its abandonment, the Elysian priesthood never left and are still using the tower to perform occult practices or to seal away enemies of the church. The rest of the book is filled with senseless, inaccurate propaganda. Okay, nothing else here. Playing the fireplace would make it hard to sleep. Hmm. Somehow I managed to add the Forgotten Tower to this bookshelf, even though the Forgotten Tower book was already in the tower to begin with. Weird how that works. Maybe there's a reward for getting all the books? Can I add my own diary or the cooking book? I guess not. Corruption. Can I add this? Seeing this still kind of frightens me. 
No, that's a that's a fan art, not a book. Hmm. Okay, check this out. I can actually look at the old enemies I fought before. Giant rat. Wait a minute, this is an RTP version. They, they can tell me the resistances too. This is the beginning. These creatures have been considered unwanted vermin everywhere across Let Letitia. Bearers of plague and disease, usually associated with poverty and lack of hygiene, these creatures weren't wanted anywhere. They never truly posed any threat, though, at least not until some specimen of their si kind started growing to immense sizes. The large rats still are the most threatening creatures, but they can be quite dangerous in groups. Bat. Bats are s one of the few winged mammals found across Letitia, and they're sure and surely the most common. Due to the fact that these creatures seem to love mana berries, which are difficult and expensive to grow, they're considered pests by farmers and fruit vendors all over the world. They're known to be rather aggressive and to often attack in flocks, sometimes even working together with rats. Seriously, how why do fantasy creatures work together? How do they know they need to work together against the human? The most bothersome aspect of the bat is that they use the sonic streaks they utilize for movement in the dark places to stun their adversaries. Then the s bees. Not, well, not the most aggressive creatures, the hive mind bees are very territorial. Like most small creatures, they def the defiled water has caused them to grow, uh, uh, to, to grow to unbelievable proportions, meaning that the dose of poison from even a single sting can be fatal to most creatures. Fire and wind. I don't have wind. Bees are almost always found in swarms, and what are those that dare to come near their hives? They will attack relentlessly in the protection of their fleet residing in them. When faced with a swarm of bees, you surely have only have two options. Run away or burn down their hives as soon as possible. Slimelings. Weak to bludgeoning ice and lightning. Resistant to piercing, slashing, and water and non-elemental magic. Slimes weren't generally, generally known for their aggressive nature. Rather, they used to be regarded as mostly docile, kind-natured creatures. That, however, changed after the industrialization of Osberg, where the toxic water waste that poisoned the riverbeds they lived near slowly corrupted their natural sources of nourishment. With the rivers, lakes, and even groundwater being polluted, the slimes were forced to find alternative food sources. They instead turned on the local flora and fauna, assaulting them and engulfing them with their bodies so they could absorb their bodily liquids in the resulting struggle. In a non-lethal way, if at all possible. Sweat, saliva, and any fluids they could absorb without directly killing their victim and spare game to the slime. It was only later that they found a new source of food. Averaging at a body water level of 57%, humans might look like nothing special, but the amount of it they just perspire when forced to fight for their lives is enough to sustain even a mature slime. Good thing I did not give up <laughs> relaying to the Slime Queen. Slime Girl. It was so beneficial to target humanoids that a lot of slimes have evolved to take on the shape of a human female in the hopes to attract them more easily. When it comes to humans, their ways of extracting their fluids is quite different from our beings, something with their, their new physique greatly aids them with. After engulfing their victims with their liquid forms from the waist down and pinning them to the ground, the acidic compounds in their slime eats away at the prone person's clothes until he or she is, is left exposed. The slime will then proceed to violate the target of their affections while slowly draining their victim of not only their will to fight, but the fluids of the person's sweat in an inevitable arousal. Ouch! There aren't any more entries, huh? There, this, there has to be a better way to do this bestiary. It takes too long to scroll through everything. Slime Queen. As slimes age, so does so their mental state. Yet, not having an actual brain means that at best their intelligence is that of a human child. While not remarkably intelligent, slimes have proven to be rather intuitive, though. Some of the most mentally developed slimes sometimes merge, merge together to combine their knowledge and magical potency, as well, their, as well as their minds. These combined slimes are often called queens, and while composed of the best of many, usually have the appearance of free individuals. The main body, a slime made in a handmaiden, which is capable of acting independently. The 
sli slime queens are always on the lookout for the best prey whose spies will serve to nurture and sustain other slimes, which they concern their children. Yikes. Let's cancel all of that. Okay, I'm at the farm again. Hopefully, I can actually do something here. Not the best for nourishment. I'm glad you can automatically tell which ones are poison. Gustav's farm. Day 7. Seriously, does no one live here? Do the bandits get to them first? Hug. Wait, what? That actually lowered my corruption? Seriously? It only works once. Wait, I can- Oh, it works once for sheep. Interesting. But I'm definitely not gonna kill them if they're- if it's gonna raise my corruption. I'll just get my meat off the wolves or something. Or the rats in the basement. Yes. You will be spared, sheep. Now just get out of my way and let me get to the door. Seriously. Okay, so... The bandits are still here. Do I even stand a chance against them? Level 6 might not be enough, because they're just way too strong. Wolves! Damn it, I wish I wasn't freaking outnumbered like crazy. Okay, put two of them to sleep. That's better than nothing. Uh. Could engulf them all in flames, but... Hold. Did I chill them? Just need to thin their numbers slowly but surely. Damn it. Missed. Oh, great. They're all awake again. Damn it, they guard it. Well, that fins their numbers. I think I actually stand a chance this time. Just gotta keep at it. Ignite. Wow, that bandit actually has a wounded sprite. Okay, burn you. And burn you. Oh, they're weak to fire. Hey, decent experience. Bandits fled. Wait, they don't die? That means they're just gonna respawn if I leave the room, huh? Damn it. And that took a lot out of me, too. I need to leave one alive so I can try to farm MP or something. So I'm in villages off the east. I know, just follow the path. I've, I've never actually been there. God damn it, why do they get to move while we have skits? It's quite unsafe for girls to travel this path alone. Safe with me. I knew you'd say that. I do feel safe with you. That thing is just waiting for me to make a careless mistake, huh? Let's grab some apples. I may have to spend some mana berries just to get to the next town. Yes, juicy apples are actually a good way to farm- uh, to recover MP. If I can just get a lot of those, I can sustain myself indefinitely. Holy shit, there's so many bandits! Do I get anything for killing them all? Do they respawn? I'm gonna test right now. If they respawn, I'm just gonna have to run. 
I didn't see him respawn. I think maybe I should actually go after them all. Hmm. You know, Kill, I always want to be rich. Can I assume you always wanted to be not decapitated? What the? One of them's different! Oh shoot! He looks really strong. Please go to sleep. The strong one stayed awake. Brigand. Ember. Dead. Now we just need to finish off the rest. Okay, took a second try by one. Second hand gear. The heck is second-hand gear? A bow? Or maybe it's for sieges. It's the bandit camp, huh? Feeling that attacking them now without taking out the rest of their forces could be bad. I don't want to deal with that wolf, damn it. Ugh. Doesn't seem like you spend a lot of time practicing archery. This is our camp. You're not welcome in our camp. Oh wow, there's more of them. Drop something. It has a few indents in the center of the target. Or not. I can't pick up that bag for some reason. Damn it, I feel a feeling if I try to attack them, I'm in for a world of hurt. Maybe I should... K should... K just run away while I'm ahead. Ah. Wolf. Oh, hey, I managed to catch the bandit unaware this time. I have an advantage. Hold. Let's take out the big leader first while they're vulnerable. Damn it, now they lost the element of surprise. Crap. Well, achievement unlock healer's touch. I guess that's for using her long enough. Title healing wind. Turns out by summoning the blue slime, she can stay in my party for a while. Yeah, better not dismiss her for a while. Just keep her in the party and hope for the best. I need more people to stand up against the bandits. Okay, better save and see what I get here. Mana Berry, Simple Key. Okay. Getting a Simple Key in return is good enough for me. Uh, there's a box up there. I have to get up there, but I have to get past the, some more enemies first. Ah, Wolf! Free on free! You don't stand a chance, Wolves. Flow learned. Yeah, things are much easier now that I have free allies. Even if one of them is a slime. Oh, apple. Okay, with my slime in the party, didn't I stand would I stand a chance against the bandit bosses now? Well, might as well take out the the weaker bandits first. Fight with steel! Okay, I think I can sneak over there. Oh, oh no, it's in the bandit side! If I want that shiny treasure, I better kill some bandits, huh? Who the hell are you? What am I doing? What am I doing? I recently set up a shop here, but ran out of iron. Don't even have enough for a pickaxe. Leave it to me, eh? We don't have any either. I'll be damned. I'll be darned. Thank you. Here, have this in exchange for that ore. Combat supplies, yes. Get some, got more, some more of that raw iron? Need more combat supplies? You can leave it to me. 
I don't know where to get raw iron. Anyways, seems like going east will take me to the town, but maybe I should take care of the rest of the... They respawn. The wolf respawned. The, ba the bandits apparently did not, so as long as I just take my time killing the bandits, I'll eventually get them all. Eventually. The wolves... No! The bandit respawned too? No way! Yeah, they all respawn. Come on, they're humans. Why did they get to respawn? As for the bandits, maybe they'll come from the side quest. Maybe I should save them for after I go to the town and gather supplies there. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I have a feeling that if I try to take on their leader, I might get fucked. Why is that guy standing at the bridge? I'd feel quite tired. Just standing around all day. Yeah, I think that, that's all I feel like doing for now in this area. Bandit cells... Let's, let's just wait until they're actually brought up. I hope it, this isn't a one-time opportunity. Then again, maybe I should go for it anyways. Ah. Okay, let's see what happens if I just bum rush in there, grab the treasure. Silken linings! Is that any good? Hmm, an upgrade over our current gear, but who should get it? Who needs it more? Magic power and magic defense suck, huh? Hmm. Yeah, Relaine is looking a little bit weak right now. I better give her a, a, an upgrade. These guys not notice me. Not sure if huge tent or tiny cart. The tent looks much bigger on the inside. This is a trap, isn't it? I'll probably have to fight a bunch of them once I get out. Bandages. Seriously? Don't worry. We're not going to hurt you. Once your daddy pays us the ransom money, we'll bring you back safe and sound. Well, this is awkward. I don't remember recruiting any ladies into my jolly bunch. You're the leader, aren't you? Are you the entertainment we requested to go for payment? Mm. Oh, we shut up already, little brat. I told you. Well, you'll be free to go once we, ha we have had our money. And fun. Back to the lady here. My name is Boren Wood. Delayed to make your acquaintance. What makes you think we deserve uh, you deserve even one chemo worth of gold? You disgust me. Now step away from the girl, or I'll make you beg for death. A pity. I was hoping we could have we could have some fun, but it seems I'll have to make you swallow those words. Oh, jolly lads! Let's show these ladies not to mess with the woodmen. There's too many of them. Holy shit! Right on it, boss. Fuck. Even with my slime, I'm not even sure. I'm not sure I can pull it off. Sleep, please. Body block. Why isn't body block working? Oh, it's... Uh, what the... Okay, let's just... Burn them all. Damn it. Like, nothing ever procs when I need it to. Ugh. No, I set half of you on fire. Let's work our way down. Ugh. That was... Ugh. Ah, dodge! Ah, 
Yeah, use a dry herb. This is looking pretty bad. You are in the wrong band camp. Motivated. Night again. Radiant Shield. Reactivate Body Block. Ah, he's got AOEs. Faster. That he that's how we'll get around my body block, huh? It's really bad. Let's sort heal. Damn it, I need to keep spamming fire on you. Burn. Ugh. Lost his burning status. Hold. Guard. Just ooze. Ha! I used that. Co I comboed that one. I knew you. Once you were wet, you'd be weak to ice. Oh yeah. Light lever vest found. I warned you, but now it's too late. Huh, I guess they do change your, your, your cutscene animations depending on your class. Let's get that kid out of here. Ow, the pain. I need to use bandages. Had to use a lot of items just to survive that one, even with my third party member. Huh. Requiem. Requiem again. Even you get a Requiem, you sick piece of shit. And Requiem, of course, hurts me. Not much I can do about that. So these Bruce do take baths, who would have guessed? Guess that gave me some opportunity to lower my corruption a bit. Wolf Encyclopedia entry. Hmm, weak to fire. Hunt and packs. And th and then th and the bandits domesticated a few wolves too. So nope, nothing. These bandits steal so much junk. No nothing. I'm not sleeping in the bandit tent. Alright, kid, let's get out of here. Release! You remove the cloth in the, uh, uh, covering the girl's mouth. The rest of her bindings seem to be too tight to remove without anything to cut them. Corruption 76. So, how do we get you back home? Or Do I have to escort you? Are you here to help me? It will be alright. I just need to find something sharp to cut the ropes with. When using items interface, you can use S and D to cycle between key items, normal items, weapons, and armor. Try using a bladed weapon to cut the rope. Oh, I see. The knife is a technically a weapon, huh? I'm gonna use this mushroom. Hold on, kid. I don't have any other use for this dagger. Use the dagger to slice through the rope. Also, lever gear. Can anyone equip that?
Think I'm so nervous. What's gonna happen? Take her home. Come on, it's time to go home. Thank you. Oh, my name is Lily, by the way. What's yours? Excelest. It's Excelest. Remember it well. I will, definitely. I don't think I can fight. Bands and wolves scare me. I will stay close to you, okay? Uh, wait. Okay, good. I don't have to do any stupid escort shit. If I did, I'd be pretty mad. I bet the bandits are gonna. There's less bandits than before. Okay, I'm gonna raid the rest of these tents, even if it means fighting off bandits. Tr vendor trash, just an empty barrel. No grain, no gain. <laughs> Foul water. Food supplies, yes. I didn't think that one tent would contain a boss battle. I thought it was just going to contain supplies. Uh, wait, scroll? Not worth it. Reloading. I'm going to have to remember this one in case there's a way to actually farm these keys. Such a weird place to store these. Oh well, won't hear me complain. Bandages. Nothing of value. Picture on a set of cups. I'm glad I can enter them from the side. That makes my life a little easier. Especially when evading these cursed bandits. It seems even a bath couldn't save these pigs from being living filth. Metaphorically and physically. Reeks of cheap alcohol. Locked jewelry box on the ch shelf. Wait, if it's locked, does that mean I can use a simple key? Soul gem? Hmm. Since I can't collect souls the normal way, I, I think having these could be useful. Yes, having soul essences. If not, I can always sell them for massive loot. Uh, but that was my only key. So how much for this soul gem? Shatter. One soul essence without having to get any corruption, but it's only one for now. That means I better save each and every soul gem I find. Wait, is it possible that I can get more than one out of it? No, I think that... I think it just... I, I think it's always one. Hey, are you still gonna attack me? This is our camp, you're not welcome in our camp! Yeah, I guess even without their leader, they're still super hostile. I'm gonna run back to town though. Be right back. Alright, time to go to the next town. Finally. Halt! Oh, I'm sorry, we're in a, a bit on edge. Spans from the west, scorpion people from the north. Scorpion people? Her love, human, animal, fantasy hybrids, but that's a new one. We don't really get any rest as it is. I understand, we are neither of those though. You're right, of course. Welcome to Savia Village. Stay a while, rest up, and don't cause any trouble. By the way, we have a we have someone who was taken hostage by the bandits. Thank you for getting me home safe. I am sorry if I was a burden. I promise I won't let myself get caught ever again. Lily, you're home! I can't believe my eyes. Oh, the mayor's kid. This will surely get him in my favor. Ah, uh, yes, it was you who returned my daughter from those despicable bandits? Yes, she was very brave. Hero again, humble. That's something you don't see every day. Can't let you go without at least rewarding you, of course. 550 key must uh, corruption gets a bit lower. Lily, you coming? Is that all worth to you, Papa? Just a handful of Kima? Don't be silly, Lily. Here, this herpin has been in our family for generations. It's said to protect the wearer from illness and harm. Have it. Jeweled hairpin. Wear it, and it will keep you safe, like you protected my daughter. Thank you, Exilus. I will never forget you. Quest save my daughter completed. Jot down on a, a, a note on page 5. Can't hug the chicken! Curses! Loot 
The summons cannot equip anything, huh? This is a head armor. Does it have any other effects besides stats? Hmm. Let's give it to Relaine. She looks a little... There, that way she is a little bit more def has a bit more defense. Gotta keep that healer alive at all costs. Slime girl. May How far can I level her up? She has a lot of hit points as and has decent strength growth. She's pretty much there to serve as a physical tank. Stare. Leave. This apple is mine. Day 8. So you can actually fight the guards by accident? That's kind of dangerous, isn't it? These are my apples. Dreamy Dryad Inn. Is there a warp point here? Empty. Well, I know a good pun. And I don't want to hear it. I better say before talking to anyone. You never know when there's a choice that might accidentally uh, cause them to turn on me. Hello, miss. Don't think I've seen you here before. You seem quite calm. I don't unnerve you at all. Admittedly, I've never seen anyone with golden eyes before. But you don't look like a bad girl. Why is this even an option? They, d they mean absolutely no harm to me. Perhaps I'm not. I go back there and steal the crops, so I don't know if there's any side effect. Handful of olives. Family board contains a number of notes. So save my daughter. No longer available because I killed them all. As of today, first day first of Northlight, all women are forbidden to venture out the village's north gate. All men capable of fighting the scorpion, scorpion invaders report to Mayor Alphonse Raids. You can find me in my home at the east side of the village. Sign Mayor Alphonse. Why do they have random food supplies there? Door locked. I'm nervous. Why are so many locked doors? Barrel without fish. Quality goods. Uh, I, I, I want to None of this is harvestable. This ain't like ease where you can turn a flower into something useful. General store. A barrel saved is a barrel earned. Surprisingly, a drum works. Drawings of the battle with the Kraken, the fight with the horrid creature. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. I was cursed for two weeks. I didn't know that Krakens could curse people. They do, with their smell. It's a crate box. So you sell helmets too? Nope, that's just decoration. It's of too low quality to be worth stealing. You can steal stuff in this game? Oh, shiny. Inspect. It seems to contain some magical energy. Maybe worth something. Seriously, there's so many options to do crimes here. What do you have? I already have reinf- Whoa, this is expensive. I don't have anyone who can- I don't have the whip user in my party yet. Hmm, silken linings. Uh, I- I don't want to- Wait a minute. Why are there numbers? Does that mean I can only buy one of each? I see. It's to keep me from just hoarding mana berries to infinity and beyond. Boosts rage gain by 15%. This might be good. Wait, I can't equip it on the blue slime. Food supplies. Only two here. Ooh, we can, we can buy simple keys. Buy one for now. Steak dinner. <laughs> Buy empty jars. Buy jars of milk. Oh, shoot. Oil. So many supplies I might need, but it's kind of, I can't sell anything here. If I want money, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, for... Your argument is invalid. Squee! 
That thing is losing all over my wares. At least that did. At least that did not lower my uh, increase my corruption. <laughs> Seriously, why is that the first option? Most people would want to go to the what do you have option. Make the first option the most useful one. Make the second option the funny one. Towel. Uh, I'm so I don't want to spend too much though. I'd rather go with a shitty armor than to run out of money at a crucial time. So I guess I'll stick with what I have. Only buy stuff that I really, really need. Uh, I have to say before talking to each and every one of you, because for some reason Celeste has an option to kill you. Formula is private property. Leave. Can't just barge in and take your crops. Ugh, good thing they do warn me, but yeah, better safe in case I accidentally click into a bad choice. Waypoints are used by government officials to travel between towns and cities. You can claim it to incorporate it into your own portal network. Okay, I'm gonna save first before doing that. It's possible doing so will make me gain corruption. Hmm, even then, maybe I should talk to the mayor first. If I, t he might, it might re retroactively result in some corruption gain. Peter Peckled Pepper's Pawn Place. Barrel. Combat supplies. Stop by the inn. Maybe there's something important there. But I don't want to use the inn for healing if I can help it. Because money is just, just seems really hard to get in this game. Welcome to Dr Dreamy Dryad. It's the finest tavern in town. Do you want to stay? It's only 300 Kiba. Not now. Okay, so I can't even talk to the other people in, the, in this area until I... Pay money, huh? Do I actually get any- Is it even possible to get be, be, beyond the counter? Enjoy your stay. So I can. I was hoping this would have an effect on the slime alley, but it just made everyone wet. A toilet. Nice that we have one, but I don't need to go. Magazines. Pin-up magazines. Wikipedia? This entire bookshelf was full of it. The Blade Dancer by Darius Matthias. It's not a thick book, but it might contain some useful lessons. Reading this book improve your combat stance slightly. Your attack power is permanently increased by one. Nice. Okay, that was... Leave. Do not kill. Oh shit, it crashed! Why? Okay, don't talk to him from the north ever again. I better be careful. Any event that causes your character the uh, uh, character of forced movement could make them go into the wall. That's really dangerous. Read, get my attack power back, and save so I don't screw anything else up. When barrels are everywhere. Cook. Maybe he can teach me a recipe if I beg him. Oh, what's this? Leave it. I'm sure if I take the contents, he'll get mad at me. Burning hot. Why do you touch it? It's sheep's milk. You can actually go into the behind the counter. That seems like a recipe for a forced movement disaster. You shouldn't be here. Hey, this one actually... Yeah, this one's safe because you can- you always have the option to go down. Alright. Out of my kitchen, young eggs. My culinary mind needs comp, which I can't get with your rats skulking around. What an ass. I heard that, young lady. Aw, oh, shit. There is another forced movement. Seriously. Dude. Seriously. Try to avoid forced movement whenever you can. It will get your- it will just cause stuff like this to happen. Alright, let's try to avoid any more forced movement. 
Upstairs. What could be upstairs? Floor one. Red okay, no one was guarding it, so who cares? I won't get any penalty for it. Hmm. Dishes and towels. Not your room. Hmm, nothing here. Just not much to do up here, is there? Okay, back down we go. I guess I might as well take this opportunity to sleep, recover that little bit of hit point and MP damage, and see if I can get another event with Relaine and possibly the slime. No need to be vain to be able to have your beauty sleep. Event, please! Otherwise, there was no point to it. Well, I guess the 300 still got me that permanent stat boost, but still. And it also allowed me to report on all those bugs. Okay. With that, I think I might as well just get out of here. You're off? We from the Jimmy Giant. Hope you enjoyed your stay at our hotel. Oh, and since this is your first night here, I'm allowed to give you a free complimentary towel. Oh. Um, thanks? What's not yet do? Okay. That seems safe for now. Seriously, forced movement, it should always be used very sparingly, only when you're very certain of what lies in the player's path. You have to pretty much account for every single obstacle if you're going to do forced movement, every single wall. Total spatial awareness. I still can't do any- I can't hug or kill the chicken. Shirt, not very fashionable. It's a good day to try. Hmm. Okay. I think that's all I can do with the inn. I did it. Alright. Uh, can't go north until I talk to the mayor. I'm skeptical about the circle, but. Hmm. Pawn place. Move along, friend. As I shall. If I take something from behind her, will she get mad at me? I'm gonna save before even trying. Copper ring. Nothing left. Okay, she did not take it. She did not care that I took the ring. Good. I need a co an extra copper ring. It did not affect my corruption levels at all. You'll come see me again, right? Probably not. I barely consider this bag of grain interesting. Please stop it, it's not funny anymore. Very well. Got wet laundry. Just some pants hanging out to dry. One of these houses belongs to the mayor, huh? It's farmland's private property. Leave. Can't just barge it and take your crops. It used to be an adventure, never mind my life story. Leave. Why even start about it? Why are you even guarding? I guess the ha house. Okay, so I can't do anything about this. Uh, I can't continue onward until I talk to the mayor and get the scorpion quest. So, is this one the mayor's house or is it just some other smuck's house? Mayor's house. Hold on. Let me explore the other schmuck's house. Never mind. Mayor it is. The long, uninteresting history of Savia Village. Scissors and balls of water? No, I guess these are medicine. I don't know what before what. Nothing useful in the cupboards. Fire. Theater play was better. <clears throat> Kick kitten! Corruption lowered. You're a kitty. Ooh, that was a close one. I almost thought I was gonna kill the cat. I can only pet you once, cat. 
How not to write a book? At least this title is honest. Squee! My thoughts exactly. Well, there's actually extra dialogue if you have the blue slime summoned. Pointless scripture. The corners of all pages are rounded off. Lacking punctuation, too. Have you seen the warriors from up north? They have poisoned spears. Poisoned spears. That's a pretty good idea. I should get myself one of those spears. How interesting. I will spare you for now. Leave. Squee. Some eggs in the sink. No, I have I don't do I even have any ingredients? I may have gotten some pieces of meat from the wolves, but that's about it. Teddy bear. Nothing fashionable. Men's clothes. I don't think I should sleep here. A little girl's teddy bear. Squee, squee. Finally, a bookshelf without bo with books with, a, a bookshelf with books without perverted dialogue. Such a colorful collection of clothing. School books, nothing religious at least. Books about knights and demons, and yes, she didn't realize I am one. This bed belongs to the mayor's daughter. Hmm. Is there a way to translate slime? I have no idea what she's saying when she says squee. Simple washing tub. Just a toilet. Why am I even here? Better to wash your hands than to get sick and regret not doing so. An expensive looking bathtub, as expected of a mayor's bathroom. A recipe for pasta makes me wonder if I if I, if I had been taught to cook if I was raised normally. Pasta puttanesca. I remember that from ser a series of unfortunate events. Sadly, Count Olaf did not like it for some reason. Ah, right, short documentary on the scorpions. Let's see. There are many theories about how the scorpion people of the once beautiful, now decayed lush valley came to exist, but this one is most credi credible. Or creditable? I don't know. The Scorpion Girls refer to themselves as Gertab Lulu, as found in scripture. Were once normal human beings whom by the use of demonic rituals attach their bodies from the waist up onto that of a scorpion. Why? And also, they have no weaknesses. That's not good. As a result, they have become unable to communicate with normal humans, except perhaps by writing and have become rather aggressive, attacking people on sight and using their singer to paralyze their opponents. Well, the Poison from their tail stinger has a debilitating effect rather than a deadly one. The weapons they carry are usually coated in lethal toxin. Furthermore, scorpions are known to abduct females to turn to their kin. Approach of caution, if at all. Why only females, though? Weird. Hmm. I guess with the slime, I could make I could make one of them wet and then smash some with ice. Seems like a really difficult enemy to deal with. Maybe I should grind it against the wolves before entering the north. Ah, you're the one who returned my dearest daughter to me. How can I help you? About your town. Savia is the most serene little town. Wouldn't you say? I'm proud to be its mayor. It is. I agree. It's quite calming to just be here and enjoy the scenery. What if I ask for aid prematurely? You'll probably say, we're too busy with the scorpions. But I'm safe just in case it causes me to gain corruption. You never know. About that, there's something I need to discuss with you. Speak freely, child. Have you noticed anything off about the actions of the Elysian priesthood in the Forgotten Tower? It's best you don't mention the priesthood around here, miss. We have no love for the church here. What a coincidence! Does that mean you'd consider helping me stand up to them? I'm afraid we can do no such thing. Church or not, we have more pressing matters to attend to. Namely, those blessed scorpions. Yeah, town should, will be, shall be mine is kind of is kind of threatening and will probably get me corrupted. Scorpion menace. So I heard your village is suffering 
Due to raids by scorpion people, I think it was. You heard that right. They aren't killing anyone, but that may only be a matter of time. And what are they doing? Stealing our crops. Our weapons, sometimes even abducting, abducting girls doubtlessly to turn them more of their kin. Tell me more. Wait, what? Turn them into more of their kin? What does that mean? Back in the days, the scorpions were tame creatures. We used them for the transportation of goods and to help cultivate the lands. Really? Is that true? But that began to change when the, the lands to the north be began to die due to the pollution caused by Cardinal Marion's Industrial Revolution. What changed after that? Where it was by the land dying or the chemicals damaging their mines, that we do not know. But they began attacking their owners. They drove us out of the northern part of our town. Many brave men went mad, many went, women met, went missing. The woman went missing? It was many days later that we saw one of the lost girls. What was left of her, anyway? It was a disgusting sight. The woman did not have her legs anymore. But instead, her upper body was grafted onto the body of a scorpion. Why would the scorpions do such a thing? And the result was a sparrow to the original creature. Investigate. I guess I can't ignore this if I want to progress in the story. When I solve the situation, you'll offer your, me your help in return? Sorry, we can't let a woman get involved. You'll just become another scorpion. I guess that's why your town only has female guards. You're afraid to end up creating more scorpion people. Scorpion people, scorpion people, taste like scorpion, walk like people. I see. You understand, I can't possibly risk bolstering your numbers even further. You seem to forget I'm not one of your people. I will take care of this. And you will return a favor. Quest log updated. I prefer you mind your own business. But if you're gonna, going to go anyway, check the bookshelves. Perhaps there's something that can be of use to you. Like a pasta recipe? Or scorpion information. I already checked all your bookshelves. Well, that's pretty much all it for accepting the mission, huh? Okay. I think it's okay if I, I think it's okay if I set up the teleport point now. Yeah adventuring, huh? Should avoid talking to the guards when possible, because for some reason, uh, Cel uh, Celeste really wants to kill them. I've got my eyes on you. I have no feelings of hostility towards you. Shh, going north will spell uh, will mean. Uh, I'm, I'm not ready. I need to. I need to kill wolves until I'm really ready. Get my goo girl leveled up a bit. And of course, and well, I'll just hijack this magic circle then. Should be safe now. There is no penalty for doing so. Town of F, the King of Ethelgard, Savia Village. There's, I can't. They only. It's small enough that they don't have multiple points I can drop off at. Home. Hopefully, this does not bite me in the back, uh, bite me in the ass, like allowing enemy soldiers to invade our, uh, uh, invade us via the teleport. Hmm, I wonder if there's any new dialogue now that I've gotten the mission from. Do you have any information on the Scorpion tribes? Let's see. I know they are the result of humans merging with scorpions through demonic rituals. Which makes them akin some way. Seriously? You think we can recruit the Scorpions too? That would be pretty cool. I have some food supplies. So, let's see. Slime says. Read slimes. Food supplies from your inventory have been added to your tower stash. No more food supply sword too. I have two salt essences, but I really want to be—I really want to be sparing about those, since I can use those to buy skills. Let's turn this up. My daughters and I are are, are, are grateful. Three of them now. Hmm. 
imagine we're gonna check out the pawn shop last time. Sack of grain. Sack of boxes contains all the stuff the merchant bought of travelers. Uh, travelers probably sell it for a uh, profit. One box of junk. Good day, ladies. Welcome to my pie shop. You hate it, we buy it. You look familiar. You probably met my uncle. He owns the item store. The guy's a bit of a scrooge, if you ask me. I generally buy anything. That is, if I expect I can sell it on profit. This is his business. I'm sorry. Hmm, so these are my only selling options. Yikes. So if I farm enough apples, can I sell it? Meat chunks by Kima. Hmm. I'm not selling my jars at all. No. I can only sell items that can I can replenish easily. Hmm, sell my old spear. Hmm. Yeah, I'll hold on to these for now, I guess. Okay, it looks like I can actually take raw iron from from the walls itself. I did not realize that. I should probably go inspect some... Okay, I need two raw irons for combat supplies. Yeah. I better, I better just... I better backtrack and look for all the walls then. Maybe there's still some iron ores I missed. Okay, there's apparently an option to jump down a well. Half time taking the car off. I was a little worried, but it seems, uh, all that's well ends well. I'm proud of you. Hmm, so I guess I could use this as a shortcut to get to get to the bed, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Nothing else happens. Out of curiosity, what if I try to use a simple key here? Nope. Well, at least I didn't use up the key. Well, it was worth a try. I'm sure I'll be able to get in there someday and claim all the crops. Okay, there's a secret passage here I missed before. Near the bandit area. In the bandit area. Excalibur? Look what I found. What's this? Vendor trash? Return Excalibur! <laughs> Are you serious? If it's vendor trash, then we're obviously bar- You know, we could at least give this to one of our allies. Maybe if we- Maybe Milena ever joins our party, we can just have her take it, since she's a sword wielder. But if it's Excalibur, a demon might not be able to wield it, so that could be an issue too. Seriously? Ah, that's so disappointing. I thought it was going to be a really nice secret, too. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of Corruption of Letitia, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.